there, little cherry nuggets. It's me, Carl. Whew. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Oh, hey there, kids. How you doing? Having fun? Enjoying this beautiful Christmas season? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Oh, me? What am I doing? Well, <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm not in my office or home right now, and, uh, well, it's pretty bad. I'm outside, and it is freezing out here. I feel like I'm an ice cube taking a bath in a frozen lake. And then I got out and went to go get a blanket, but that was made of ice cubes. Ice cube blanket! Now you're probably asking, hey Carl, how'd you get out in the freezing cold in the first place? Well, it's a funny story. So there I was, in my house. It was right after dinner, and I was absolutely stuffed. Yep. But then in the corner of my eye, I see a beautiful plate of delicious, chewy, warm, chocolate chip cookies. Now I knew that my stomach was full, but in that moment, nothing else mattered to me beside the, the, those cookies. So I had a decision to make. Eat those cookies and feel terrible and face the consequences? Or be an adult and have the emotional control to say no? So after I ate all the cookies, things got real bad. I ate so much sugar that I began to see colors I never knew existed. I began to hallucinate and see the strangest things. My taste buds felt like they got a ride on a rocket ship into the planet of Flavorverse and into the city of Tastyopolis. Occupation? Uno. Me. So then I started to get all sweaty and I figured, hey, I'll just step outside for a little bit. Cool down, you know? Wouldn't you know it, I locked myself out of the house. Wish I could remember the lock code from my door, but I can't. Wait a second, I think I might know who knows the code. Hold on, let me try and give her a call. Hi, Carl. Jada, oh, thank goodness, I really need your help. Okay, what's up? So here's the story. Like, so we, I just got done eating and then like I saw cookies and I saw the cookies that were warm and they were chocolatey and I began to eat them. Then like I was super full and then like I, I ate too much sugar and then I started like freak out. I'm like, what is that? What is that? And I'm like, ah! And I started getting real sweaty and I stepped outside. Now I'm locked outside my door, house. And I'll remember the code. And that brings us to here. I forgot the code to my house and I've wandered. And I think I'm lost. <gasps> oh no, you're lost. Well, I guess that kind of makes you a little like Jesus, huh? What do you mean? Jesus got lost? Mm, well, sort of. Do you remember the story of Jesus at the temple in Luke chapter 2? I certainly don't. And, well, I don't have a Bible. Do you mind telling me about it? Sure thing. So Mary and Joseph took Jesus, who was 12 at the time, into Jerusalem where there was a festival happening. Oh, cool. Once the festival was over, Joseph took him and his family home. What a fun family trip. Well, it wasn't until Mary and Joseph got home that they realized Jesus wasn't with them. What? Jesus is missing? The Son of God is missing. How could they let this happen? It was an honest mistake. They thought he was with them the whole time because the company or caravan that they were with was really big. Three days later, Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem and found Jesus. <laughs> and guess where Jesus was? I bet it isn't in the middle of a blizzard. You'd be right. He was actually in the temple. Mary and Joseph found Jesus sitting among the teachers. He was listening to them and asking questions. People were amazed at how well Jesus could understand and his responses to their questions. Things were real different back then, huh? Definitely. During the festival, Jesus had celebrated becoming an adult. Did you know that it was their custom to celebrate adulthood at 12 years old? Even though technically he was called an adult, he was still under his parents' authority, which is why when his parents came back for him, he obeyed and didn't start his ministry until he was 30 years old and not under his parents' authority. He stayed home deliberately because he felt more at home with the teachers. He also left intentionally to obey his parents. Wow, that is so cool. What did Mary and Joseph do? Well, they were blown away. Obviously, they were so excited to see Jesus safe, but they were also wondering why he decided to stay in Jerusalem in those three days. But Jesus pretty much said, of course I would be in the temple where my father's work is. Jesus saw being in the temple, teaching, listening as importance. 
Why do you think it was so important? Well, Jesus knew God. I mean, he was God's son. And Jesus so badly wanted everybody he knew to know God. Why? Well, when people know God, things change. Change? Change how? Well, think about it. When a person doesn't know God, true love, joy, and peace is impossible to have. But when we do know God, all of that and so much more is given to us. Whew. Man, I guess you're right. I could totally see why Jesus wants people to know God. Well, I have a Christmas present for y'all, and it's a big idea. Our big idea is Jesus came so the world would know God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus came so the world would know God. Yes! 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 I tell you what, I haven't learned that much since I was at the Macaroni and Cheese Museum. Wait, that's it! My code from my house! When I was at the Mac and Cheese Museum, I ate 213 bowls of mac and cheese. It was a world record! My code is 213! Wow, what would I do without y'all? Thank you so much. Now I'm going to go inside and defrost my face now, so <laughs> see you next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Christmas lights